In this video, I'll show you how to improve your resume using Copilot in Microsoft Word. Copilot can help you rewrite, polish, and update your resume. Let's dive in. Here we have our existing resume document open in Microsoft Word, the desktop app version. Be sure and make a new copy of your resume document. Sometimes you might want to just compare the new and the old, or if you just need to keep this version of your resume. So I'm just going to come up here to File, and we'll save a copy. Now, the first thing we want to do is use Copilot to analyze and review and maybe suggest some enhancements to our qualification summary. So I'm going to select this section, click on the Copilot icon, and we can click on Auto Rewrite. We can also prompt if we have a specific prompt that we want to type here. We can say, rewrite the summary to sound more confident and professional and ATS friendly. You can do that. Or we can click on Auto Rewrite. When we click on Auto Rewrite, Copilot will generate a couple of different options for us. And we have three different options that we can read through. Make sure to read through these and pick one that makes the most sense. Make sure it's accurate and it sounds like you. Sometimes Copilot might add in qualifications or skills that you may or may not actually have. So be sure if you select one of those generated prompts that you replace that with accurate information or edit it as needed. If we like one of these, we can click on Replace, and it'll replace that text. The next thing we can use Copilot for is to strengthen the bullet points in our different work experiences. So we can come down here, and for example, if we have a weak bullet point, we can actually select that and prompt Copilot to help us rewrite that bullet point. I'm going to click on the Copilot icon, and I'm going to ask Copilot to rewrite this bullet to highlight my skills and results. And we'll click Generate. And Copilot will write a stronger bullet point for our resume. If we like that, we can keep it. I'm not going to replace it because it will replace with a different type of font. So I'm just going to say Keep It. It'll be right down here. And then to keep the font the way you want it, I'm going to select inside the sentence, hit Control C. Then I'm going to come up here on the bullet. And then I'm going to right click and click on Paste Text Only. Now we're going to go ahead and add the bullet back, and then we're going to go ahead and delete the extra text. Now another thing we can do is select all of our bullets, and we can come over to Copilot, and we can say Make Shorter. So if our resume is a little bit long and we want to make it a little more concise, we can say Make Shorter on our different bullet points, and it will suggest a more concise rewrite of your text. Again, you have three different options, so you can read through each of these and select the one you like the most, and then you can replace that. Be sure and correct any spelling errors that come up. And you can go through each of your work experiences and use Copilot to rewrite any bullet that you see fit. Now, one other feature of Copilot that you can use, we can select this bulleted list, click on the Copilot icon, and we can say Visualize as a Table. Copilot will take this text and then reformat it into a table format. If you like that, you can keep it. We can replace it and delete our last bullet. Just make sure to update the font style so that it matches the rest of your resume. I'm going to change this back to Colibri and font size 11. Now, a few more quick tips for formatting. Ensure that all of your headings are all in the same font and size. So if you happen to replace text with Copilot in it, updates the font or size or adds a space or an enter where you don't intend it, make sure you go through your document and fix all of those where those occur. Formatting errors stand out and can distract recruiters from focusing on the content of your resume. You don't want it to look sloppy or that you don't have the time or attention to detail or the technical skills to fix your resume document before submitting it and applying for a job. So here I can see one of the sections that I used Copilot to rewrite. Notice that the bullets are not aligned with the rest of the bullets in the document. So I'm going to select those. And you can turn off and on the bullets and then move them over to get them aligned where they need to be. We can also put our cursor in between each section. When we put our cursor right here, we can go up and we can see that the size is 6, which is the white space between these two work experiences. And if I place my cursor between each one, I should see six between each one. So if that's not the case, you can want to come up there and fix that. Now I also see that I have the education section is bleeding on to the other page, and it breaks in kind of a not a great area. 
So one thing that we can do in that case is go ahead and put a page break in here. We can go to insert, page break, and then hit delete to bring that back up to the top of the page. And this looks a lot better. Keep in mind that recruiters are going to be scanning your resume electronically. More than likely, they'll be opening it in either Word or an HTML version that gets rendered when you apply for a job through an applicant tracking system. So it's OK to have your resume go on to a second page. When it does, be sure to have your name and the second page listed up here in the header at the top. And then whoever's scanning your resume can come down and review that section. Now, if you're applying to a specific job and you want help tailoring your resume using Copilot and Word, be sure and check out my other video. If you found this helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it and subscribe to my channel. You can visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com, for more resources. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.